Am I safe? Most homeowners want to know the answer to this question. I'm Linda Love. I'm the Omaha Condo Coach, and today we're talking about one of the eight essential areas that you must button down before you sign on the dotted line and purchase your condo. Today we're talking about all things related to management and security. How a building is both managed and secured affects your personal and your financial future. And that often starts right at the front door. Does this condo building that you're interested in have a doorman or does it have some sort of uh, on-site manager? That matters for your safety and your security. Look at the total security of the perimeter of the building. Are there cameras? Is the lighting good? How is your building secured and accessed on a 24-7 basis? And a lot of this um, access and security features rely on the age of your security system. So was your security system installed in 1950 or was it installed last year? That might dictate how much uh, security and the reliability of your security that you have in your building. Do you have the latest tools like a digital key? Will you be able to um, give guests a digital key to access your property when they need to? Or do you carry a digital key so you don't have to lug around the old fashioned keys? Do you have video access to, to screen people and let people into the building based on a video connection that you have with them via your phone? How many access points are there in your condo structure anyway? Is there one primary at the central main door? Is there an access point uh, security point issue at the garage entrance? How long does the garage door stay open and how, how far before it closes? What about does your uh, building stay open 24 seven, always open access, or does it lock down for an evening or is it always locked? It's unless you have a key access or a card reader access to get in. Knowing what kind of security situation you have in your building protects your financial investment. Remember, look at the costs associated with both your management and your security by reviewing your financials. You'll want to know if you can actually afford to live in this building based on the decisions that were made regarding costs of the management and security. Does your condo building pay a security firm to be on site 24 seven? That might be costly. Does your um, condo building know that they need to upgrade their security system in the near future? What is the price tag gonna be of that? So analyze not only the availability of the security systems and the management systems that you have in your building, but make sure you understand the costs associated with the types of management and security systems that you have in your building as well. It is a good predictor about whether or not you can afford to live there. Need more condo coaching tips? I've got you covered. Just download the complete checklist below or stay tuned and watch a couple more videos.